cuties, how's it going? Things have been pretty busy on my side. I've had a lot of, you know, conferences and going to demo classes and just pretty busy week, pretty busy month, really. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's been going on here. Um, it's been going on since a little after Halloween, uh, and I wanted to show you guys this earlier, but um, I've really been hesitant on how to present this to you. So I'm, I'm finally just, I'm going to tell you about it, uh, and hopefully you guys can give me some good advice. But some pretty strange things have been happening in my house since uh, since Halloween and I'm not I'm not exactly sure how to go about it um, so I, I don't know I just I just don't know what to do I've never had to deal with something like this so oh hello there Nippon Q did you have too much fun invoking spirits into your house on Halloween well that's okay you just need to execute a few easy steps to exercise that ectoplasmic entity Nice alliteration! Thank you! Now that you're living in Japan, you're going to have to go about things a different way as you would in America. So drop that sage and holy water. It won't have the same effects here. You can also put away your copy of The Exorcist because those quotes won't help. Now, get a pencil and some paper and let's bust some ghosts. Oh, you know you can't have a Halloween special without mentioning Ghostbusters. Step one, what kind of spirit do you have? Ghost? Demon? Monster? Monster! Sorry, but Arashi is not haunting you. Dang! Alright, Q, answer these simple questions. Did you watch a scary videotape on Halloween? Yes. Does your TV turn on only to snow? Yeah, I'm still on analog. Does your face look all messed up when you take photos of yourself? No need to be rude. Do you have a phone stalker counting down the days to your death? Hello? <laughs> Last question. Did you set a creepy little girl free from a well after she was drowned there by her suicidal mother? No. Probably should have asked that question first, but we can cancel out the ghost from the ring. Moving on. Did you walk into the house where a psychotic husband viciously murdered his wife, child, and cat? No. Then no grudge chick either. Mr. Voiceover, I don't think my ghost is from a movie. Excuse me! Who is the expert on Japanese ghosts here? You want some real Japanese ghosts? I'll give you some real Japanese ghosts. So shut up and answer the questions. Does your ghost come out of a well every night from between 2 to 3 in the morning, counting all the way to 9? But before she gets to 10, screams and runs back to the well? N no. Then your ghost isn't Okiku from Himeji Castle. You know what? Maybe you don't have a ghost. Maybe it's a Japanese monster, or demon. You know what an oni is? Not common Rider. Dang. Well, it's a demon? Good job, Electronic Woo! Dictionary. Oni are big demons with horns that are usually red, blue, or black, and carrying a big iron club. They guard the gate to Buddhist hell and are dumb but malicious. Got anything like that? Uh, no. How about a kappa? A cup of what? Not a cup of, a kappa. They look like kid-sized turtles with a beak and fins on their hands and feet with this water-filled dish on their head that are known for dragging people into water and pulling out their livers through their anus. Definitely not. How about Rokurokubi? Basically, if Elastigirl was a demon. No. Yuki Onna? It's not even snowing yet. How about a Tengu? Part man, part bird, red face, long nose, carries a feathered fan, known to abduct children? Do I look like a child to you? Hey, you asked for my help. No, I don't think I did. In fact, you're the 
one who offered, and I'm pretty sure right now the Akinichi Jin fans will be a lot more helpful than you. Don't turn off this voiceover! Don't you dare- <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm just gonna have to do this one on my own. Alright, I've got my salt and sake here, and uh, let's see. Northeast corner of my house. I'm just gonna go do something else for a while. Holy crap, the Akinishi Jin fans helped. This is the scariest day of my life.